Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to This is the Police 2. My name is Growmore, and we have a, a maybe a quite a hard shift coming today because we only have six officers. But who's this guy? I'd like to see Sheriff Lily Reed. Why do you need Sheriff Reed, Mr. Carter? Captain Britt Carter. That's why the day when you, Captain Carter, step through the threshold of our department will not only be an important day for the whole of Sharpwood, but also a very happy day for me personally. Well, it seems I'm here to make Sheriff Reed very happy, son. Okay, so... Is... I really don't know who that is. Hey, I told you to stay away from my office. It looks like... It looks like we've got a problem here. And I need something that will help with these headaches. I, I get migraines, you know. Or is this a migraine or is it just a headache? It's not the same thing, you know. They're, they're different things and they need different medicines. The cure for one is not the cure... Uh, for the other, you know, and, and, and if something isn't curing you, it's killing you. The medicine for headaches won't help with migraines. Dr. Canaan explained the difference to me, but I... I uh... Okay, do you, do you need an aspirin? No, 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 it's a different one. Acetaminophen? No, 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 the one with the letter B. Hmm, well, let's just write that down. We need to talk, now. Excuse me, Mr. Nash, but right now I'm... Hey, can't you see? The, there's a line. I, um, what's going on here? I just listen to the needs of our townspeople every week. I try to help them get access to food and drugs that aren't easy to come by in Sharpwood. I don't want to... I don't want them going to the smugglers, you know? Get back to the end of the line. Quiet. I work here. Lily. There's a man you in... work here? Well, then, I'll tell you, boy, the floor in the corridor I walked across over there is the dirtiest floor I've ever seen in my life. And if my taxes are going to... I'm not the janitor. I'm a cop. A cop? Perfect. Perfect. So you have to solve my problem with the rats. I don't... <sighs> Lily, listen. There's a man named Carter waiting for us in my office. Carter? Wait, Captain Brick Carter? Yes. Yes, that's him. Would you, uh... Tip. Write down all the medications Mr. Moses needs, then do the same for the others. Get everything down in detail. Oh, forget about your notebook. Take mine. Start a new page for each person. Got it? There's still one thing I just can't understand, my dear. Why did you write me this letter? If you already have this, uh... This... <laughs> Mr. Nash appeared out of... He, he appeared unexpectedly. He worked undercover for a while, and he... He was sent for by... This is an operation. It's all part of a big operation. Some kind of big operation. I myself don't know all the details. But I think Mr. Nash himself can tell you everything he... Oh, I have no doubt that Mr. Nash will tell us everything. He'll tell us how he was assigned to this operation. He'll tell us how he was sent his orders on a beautiful piece of paper with a, a seal and a signature. He'll tell us how he had to pack up everything in his big city apartment and how carefully he packed his expensive trousers in his expensive suitcase. <laughs> oh, how he had to grow a beard to blend in. Yeah. <laughs> He'll tell us all about his brilliant career. Oh, you must have been an excellent student at the Academy, Mr. Nash. <laughs> oh, perhaps you think you already know everything there is to know. But there's something you don't know, Mr. Nash. It's something very important. A city like Sharpwood can't be saved by some uh, upstart careerists and bureaucrats from central administration. A city like Sharpwood can only be saved by its people. People who were born here, who grew up here. 
These are our demons, Mr. Nash, <laughs> and we have to deal with them ourselves. You were sent here by the chiefs in the suits, while I, prodigal son of Sharpwood, was returned here by the Lord himself. Oh, so in your opinion, Sharpwood will be saved by a lame soldier with no police experience holding his Bible at the ready. I will not take offense to your disrespectful remarks, Mr. Nash, because I myself was once just a stupid fool. I did not understand that God saved me in the war. I did not understand that it was he who helped me survive after... Uh, after what happened to me after the war. But now I understand. Now I see. Now I am ready, and have no doubt, Mr. Nash, I have come not with a shield, but with a sword. Well, then prove it. Work here for a week and show us what you can do. All right, I already said we're not making this into a stupid game. Mr. Nash, you've done an excellent job, but you have to agree that this Lily, this a... isn't a game, it's... This is a test, and it's a test that I humbly accept, my dear Lily. I have endured many... Pass them all with dignity, and I will endure this one, too. Oh, of course. You'll love it. Excellent. Just fine. Now we have two more stubborn boys in the department. Actually, don't we have just one more stubborn boy? And also, god damn it, these cutscenes are long! Ah, uh, Percy, I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Fuck. So... Yeah. We are down to five. What? But Percy is still here. Okay. Continue. Auto assign. We will be giving Spurlock... Uh... Taser as well. Yeah, take everything. Also, Woolback could also use a taser. What? Yes. And Borotka as well. Yes. All right. So, I don't think... Oh, shit. Should we send in someone? We only have six. Hmm. I'm not sure if we need someone with a uh, high intelligence. I think that's the case. Yeah, I'm just going to skip these investigations once again. Because we don't have enough people, god damn it. Uh, I'll just do this uh, after the shift. Let's see what happens. Hopefully another slow day. A competition with Carter. Next week Captain Carter will take over management of part of the department. The winner of the competition will be the one who shows himself to be the best chief of police in the coming days. Okay. So yeah, we have lots of these... These things here, but... In progress. We don't have enough manpower. God damn it. Uh, there's a harassment at the Rosemary Medi Medical Center. A man entered the emergency room and started sexually harassing a nurse. Well, we can't have that. Uh, Woolback, take Percy with you and handle it. So, I think we should send people on these brown missions just at the end of our shift. Because otherwise, I think... They'll be on these missions the whole day. Is that something that we can do? A man with his trousers around his ankles is chasing a nurse around the office. Miss, please, touch me here. I'll be healed right away. You've got to help me. You swore an oath of Hippocrates. Uh, you there, pull up your pants. You're under arrest. Sister, haven't you ever touched a man there? Use a pepper spray. Uh... Can Percy use pepper spray on the guy? 
Let's see. Yes, it worked. Uh, he yells in pain, covers his face with his hands and tries to escape, but he gets tangled in his trousers and falls to the floor. Good job, Percy. We found some antibiotics and soap. And also toilet paper. So we just basically looted the hospital. That's alright. Right. In child abuse at the trailer park once again. Some neighbors are complaining about child's loud screaming and crying. Uh, Spurlock and Borotka will be handling that. I hope Spurlock will be getting a hat on in the coming in days. And what's this? Another child abuse at the Bovos monument. An elderly woman is trying to awaken the fertility of her granddaughter with the help of a shocker. <laughs> God damn. Flower pots, take Percy with you and handle that. Uh, through the open window of a dirty little white trailer, a crying child's voice rings out clearly. Dad, don't. Daddy, forgive me. The door to the trailer is locked. I think we have all uh, done this as well at some point. And here we should, if we do this, I think the uh, dude climbs through the window. So let's break down the door. I don't think we can climb through the open window because I think that requires stealth, maybe. Let's break down the door. The cop breaks down the door, the trailer is dark and dirty and there's empty bottles scattered everywhere. A thin shaggy man is sitting on the floor beating a little boy with a belt. Uh, use a big knife to stab the man. Well, always a good option. But we will be stunning the man with the baton. Excellent. Good job, guys. We found some whiskey. And Borotka, you will be getting some speed. Right. God damn it, we have lots of these things. Yeah, at the, let's try to do it like so that at the end of the day or in the evening we have most of our people at hand and then we can assign some people to those things. A drug use. Some neighbors complain about the man throwing used syringes. Yeah, we have already done this as well. Uh, McGuire can handle that all by himself. A girl of about 10 years old is standing tied to a monument of the forest spirit of Bovos. Standing next to her is her grandmother who is zapping the girl in the neck with a shocker. Chrissy, just be brave for a little longer. For the spirit of fertility to enter into you, he needs an open path. That's why you've got to lose your breath, child. Uh, let's rush to the girl. Flower pots will handle this. The cop leaped for the girl and untied her from the monument. She ran and hid in the patrol car. Her grandmother is outraged by the intrusion and turns the shocker on the cop. Uh, let's shoot her with a taser. Yes! Uh, the cop fired a taser at the elderly woman, but her heart couldn't stand the shock and she died on the spot. The girl had been injured by the shocker, but she will live. Great. Good job, guys. Well, of course, good job, because Flower Pots was on the case. Right, so I think we'll start assigning people to these things. Uh, no. Yeah, we required cocaine, ground coffee and paprika. I don't think we have those. Oh, no, because, yeah, Spurlock will not be doing that anyways. Yeah, we don't have those things. So, how about this cemetery thing? Uh, I don't... Actually, have we read this? I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. A couple of weeks ago, a nice batch of cocaine fell into my lap. Okay, cocaine mentioned. We need cocaine. But I had to hit it for a while. And who comes to my help but the local gravedigger? The old man just buried the goose in one of the fresh graves. The problem is that uh, that same night the old drunk choked on his own vomit before he could tell me which grave he buried the cocaine in. 
I'm sure you have a couple of cops who are clever enough to figure it out and dig up the goods. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can uh, find us the cocaine. The windows and doors of the big black trailer are locked up tight. The loud music is blaring inside. Near the trailer are some used syringes. Uh, let's maybe pick the lock. Yes! The cop quickly cracks the lock and enters the trailer just as the addict is preparing another dose in his spoon. He doesn't even stir when he sees the police. He's too afraid of spilling his precious product. Maguire is a beast. Okay, we found heroin, but we need cocaine. You will be getting some... Some shooting skills. Uh, okay, another one? At the woodworking factory. But oh, we don't have enough people just now. So let's wait a bit. Ah, uh, The day is coming in, coming to a close. Suspicious item. Okay, let's let's check this out now. That we have flower pots and maguire. My business isn't all that complicated, but I'm afraid it's getting a little too much for me. I'm not as strong as I used to be. The barrels in my cellar has gone rancid. They need to be taken out and replaced with new ones. What's in the barrels? No, not wine, but something more interesting. I'm sure you can't guess. Anyway, if you can send me a couple of your strong men to help me, then I will help you in return on another front. Oh god damn it, Maguire isn't that strong. Hmm. I'm sure that some of your employees suffer from problems with drinking. I understand, of course. The work is stressful. I can heal any cop. Yes, I'm quite serious. Anyone. By my own proven methods. After the procedure, he'll never even look at another bottle, believe me. Okay, so we can send in uh, Miradian here, if we manage to do this. Maybe we can... Actually, Miradian hasn't been drunk recently, has he? Hmm. But, yeah, I don't... No, if we need strong dudes, maybe we shouldn't send in Maguire. We we need Borotka there. But he's at the he's doing something at the moment. A suspicious item. Near an open grave there's a suspiciously large bag. An eyewitness believes that it could be a military missile. Maybe Maguire Oh shit. Uh I think Spurlock will not be working with Percy. Yeah, god damn it. And now we don't have enough. Hmm. So should we... Yeah, I think we'll just handle this. Oh, we have so many of these things, god damn it. Uh, abduction at the dump. An eyewitness reports that a man wearing gloves and resp respirator is stunning homeless people with a shocker and dragging them into his van. Uh, no, we don't have enough people for this. Okay, we are at the back at the cemetery. Nash, well, it was fucked up. We dug up half of the cemetery, searched a bunch of dead bodies and got ourselves covered in corpse rot. We were about to give up, but then a wandering dog crawled into one of the graves and dug up the pack of drugs. We can't come back to the station today. We've got to go home and wash this thing off. Okay, guys. But we did get some... What? So we can buy something? Okay, we need one gold bar for that uh, one job. But it costs 8,600. That's too much. Cocaine we could buy. Oh, actually now we have that cocaine, so... <gasps> yeah! So now if we are fast, we can do... What was it? Was it this? Oh no, not this. Was it this? Where was the thing that needed the... Cocaine and... What the hell? No. This was the gold. Oh, it was this. Uh, the life serum. So now we have cocaine, but do we have coffee and paprika? 
God damn it, we don't. Okay. So... Hold the fuck on, what's this? Friends! Hot steam, a leaf broom and delicious food are the keys to happiness and re relaxation. Any cop will be glad to spend few hours at the winter night's resort. Do not worry, we don't serve alcohol, he alcohol here. Just an invigorating sharp food infusion. Okay, let's not do that yet. Uh, where is the... Okay, here. So, can we buy some paprika? Actually, let's see what we have. We need paprika, coffee and cocaine. Uh, we don't have any of that stuff. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So let's forget about that then. Uh. Yeah, the day is over. We don't have enough people to do that and... Uh, like, I really don't want to spend 8600 for that gold bar. Because that would leave us basically penniless. And I don't get, uh, know, exactly know what we would be getting out of that. The back beside the grave was no military missile. It contained the corpse of an elderly man who didn't have the money for a proper funeral. So they just left him there in the back. God damn it. Yeah, we will not be able to do that abduction thingy. Well, that's a shame. We'll be losing some some tabs because of that. Suspect escaped. But we should be in the plus side on those tabs. I think that was the only one we failed. So we should be getting something like, I don't know, 15 or something. And maybe we'll be able to buy a new cop. Oh shit, yeah, this one. Let's gather some intel. Uh... I'll tell you what's going on in the kitchen. I see what's going on at the entrance. I know where one of the criminals is resting. Uh, tell me everything. These guys keep coming into the kitchen. We tell them to get out, but they ignore us. They come in to order something, taste the sausages, or yell at us about our cooking. They are lightning fast, but I'm quick too. And I always manage to spit in their soup. <laughs> Good job, Hyde. Only 50? Okay. I usually sit at the reception desk and play cards, but when these big bigwigs showed up, things uh, got quite uncomfortable. One of them is on duty at the entrance around the clock, and always yells to his friends when er anything rustles. Uh, okay. 500 to the maid. This group... These group's members are always spread throughout the complex, but one usually stays in his rooms reading, ma reading magazines and asks no one to bother him. I don't know what exactly he's reading about, uh, but the door is always locked. I can't even get in to clean the room. Right, so now we have gathered the intel. Get the key to the back entrance and warn the manager about the assault. Uh, how do we do that? Okay, nice. 16 and we lose only 4. Okay, we have 24. Oh, Carter has his own cup. Okay, so we won <laughs> this time. What? I don't know what's going on. Uh Oh, we we would need seven more for for a leave, but I think we just need to take Nakip. It's going to cost us everything. And he dis does, uh, doesn't have any equipment with him. Oh shit. Should we? Yeah, let's let's buy him. We need people. Okay, Carter is buying a stun grenade. Okay, I... 
I really don't know what's going on here. Okay, then day one out of seven. Okay. Uh, flower pot Maguire will will be resting today. So does uh, so is Porotka, and Woolback Aronovich is on duty. Shini Kurosawa, all the rogues except Spurlock. Yeah, Spurlock has been working two days in a row, so that's that's good. Nakip Valentin. Only seven, once again. Oh shit, let's take Maguire as well. He can do one, one small thing maybe. Okay, eight people. Great. Right, so we are now uh, in competition with Carter. And we won the first day. I really don't know what happens if we lose. Maybe Feds gain on, gain on us or something like that. I really don't know. Like... It seems that's basically the thing here. Whenever we do something wrong uh, enough, then Lily will call feds on us. So let's try to win against Carter. And also let's try to slowly get uh, go through those brown missions before the, uh, our <laughs> city is filled with them. So yeah, we need gold, we need cocaine, we need paprika and stuff like that. Let's see if we can find all that stuff in the next episode. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.